I'm Alex Michelson, and this week the issue is the Super Bowl. We're on the red carpet at the NFL Honors talking to NFL legends and Hollywood stars. Plus, we catch up with Chargers quarterback Justin Herbert and analysis from Michael Irvin and a look at the future stars of the NFL and how they train. A very special edition of The Issue Is starts right now. Broadcasting across California, you're watching The Issue Is. Welcome to The Issue Is. I'm Alex Michelson. At SoFi Stadium, behind us is the field where the Rams and the Bengals are going to be playing on Sunday. The Super Bowl is the biggest cultural and sports event of the entire year. This year, it's all in California with a California team, so we're taking a break from our usual politics and having some fun here. We begin with a look at the NFL Honors, which is sort of the NFL's version of the Oscars, bringing together so many legends, and we got a chance to catch up with many of them. NFL greats like Debo Samuel, Russell, Russell Wilson, Kurt Warner, Rob Gronkowski, Dak Prescott, and Michael Irvin are on hand for the NFL Honors. Andrew Whitworth. Andrew Whitworth. Andrew Whitworth of the Rams wins the most prestigious honor, the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award for his extraordinary work in the community. Keep investing, lead with your heart, and I can't wait to watch the legacy continue, because remember this, it's a blessing and not a burden to carry on this NFL legacy. Whitworth's teammate, Cooper Cup, winning Offensive Player of the Year. It's made this season the most fun season I've ever had playing football. I've been playing for 20 plus all years. All right, all right. Everybody good. hears skill people guys, talk all the time. Guys, the big guys on the get the field. chance. Guys, been on the, he I was want a chance the, to talk. Was, this week filled with parties bringing together the NFL and Hollywood for LA's first Super Bowl in more than 30 years. Everything has come together for LA. It's been amazing. It's been a while in the sports world since Los Angeles has, has had this kind of attention, right? I mean, this is the biggest sport, the mecca of our sport, football. Boom, look at this thing. It's the best thing going in the National Football League. It's like a eighth wonder of the world. And so um, how fitting is it to have a great Super Bowl right now with the home team, for crying out loud. Tons of stars live here, so the excitement level is always at a different level when you're in this town. We have Odell, we got Vaughn, oh, we're about to beat. Let, let me explain something. Y'all not going to win this. This event also a chance for players to take off their uniforms and show off their own unique style. I That's wanted to be cozy, but I wanted I want to show out. Like we can't all That's be camp. this special. You know what is that embroidery? Is that real? That's real flowers somehow. This, I mean, this is every year. Hide money. The, found some dress shoes that actually fit me for once, so excited about that. What size feet are Uh, six, sixteen. So I love suits too, man. I love putting things together. So I got the emerald green suit. Love the double-breasted suit, man. Love the color. Feel like you're in LA. You had to come out with a. So I'm uh, bright colored. And is it fun to be at an award show like this? No, it'd be more fun to be in a Super Bowl. <laughs> Tory Holt won a Super Bowl with the St. Louis Rams back in 2000. How different is it playing in the Super Bowl? No, it's different. It's, it's a different level of energy. I remember my rookie year just coming out for warm-ups, how intense it was. I had to go back in and get an IV because I had to... I had given off that much energy. Emmett Smith won three Super Bowls with the Dallas Cowboys. It is completely different. It is one and done. This is the ultimate game that you've been playing for and thinking about since you was a kid. And when you step out on that field on, on Sunday, you don't want to be the guy that make that bad play. You want to be that guy that make the big play. Steve Young won three Super Bowls with the San Francisco 49ers. Having the Rams back in L.A. is right. It feels like it feels right. And it's been a long time. Playing the Rams and throughout the years that I played, and then to have the stadium here in LA, it's it's finally the, L, the NFL is full. It's complete, and uh, having the Super Bowl now with the Rams in it. Now come on, now you're getting greedy. We want to look back at one moment, especially. This is when I got to meet Leslie Jones for the first time. Many of you may remember her interactions with Colin Jost on SNL, and I got to feel a little bit like Colin Jost here. Absolutely, I absolutely love this you. This is nice. Oh, man. Mm, coordinated. I, I, I love you. Hey, why are you not a superstar or something? Oh, you, my God. Wow, you are like, wow. You are. Parties continue all over town. We're now at the Ladylike Foundation fundraiser at the Lucky Strikes. Uh, I'm a Cowboy fan. We didn't make it this year. But we're going to be all right. 
been a minute for the Cowboys. Been a minute for the Rams. Too. Yeah, it's been a minute for the Rams. I mean, you're happy. I'm happy for that coach. The, the, the young coach, so man, it's just great. The city's on fire. Coach McVay is a, is a, is a dear friend of mine. I reached out, didn't want to bother him, but I just want to encourage him and just told him to trust his gut, trust his players. There's going to be no one more talented. And, um, you know, I expect those guys to be the better team on Sunday. You think they're going to win? I absolutely do. And, you know, it's a city of champions. And to go through that adversity that Sean and I have both gone through, but to get another opportunity, it's special, and uh, I know they're going to take full advantage of it. We're with Jim Everett, a uh, longtime quarterback of the Rams. Are you jealous you couldn't throw the Cooper Cup? <laughs> I, think, I think every quarterback that ever played is jealous they didn't get to throw the Cooper Cup. What a professional he is. You know, I always said this, if Sean McVay could come back in a different body, he would want to come back as Cooper Cup because he's just got that much talent and that much knowledge. Talk about what it means for you to have the Super Bowl and the Rams here. Well, you know what, for me, it's a, it's a blessing because I'm from Inglewood. You know, I grew up in Inglewood, so to have the Super Bowl here at Inglewood is so fine. Have the Rams playing in the Super Bowl, uh, it, it's, it's like the perfect storm. It's kind of cool, though. It's cool for the home team to get to play at home since it's us. Last year it felt like it was rigged. This year I like it a lot. Yeah, how you doing? Doing well. You rooting for the Rams? All day. All day. I just hope they stay focused for the whole 60 minutes. The last couple games it seems like they did everything they could to try to blow the game. The last two playoff games. So hopefully they stay focused. They have the they have the roster. You know, on paper they're the best team in football. Up next, catch up with Chargers quarterback Justin Herbert, whose season ended in heartbreaking fashion. Is there fire in your belly? Is it anger? Is it disappointment? What, what, what goes through your mind? A lot of it's motivation. And later, Michael Irvin's analysis of the Rams defending their house. It's like letting a man come in your house, sit at your table, eat your damn food, <laughs> while you're holding your wife's hand and drinking your wine. Who's house? Of course, the Rams aren't the only team that play here at SoFi Stadium during the regular season. This week, we caught up with the star of that other team, the Los Angeles Chargers. Here with Justin Herbert, the all-pro quarterback from the Los Angeles Chargers. We catch up with Justin Herbert, who was hoping to be playing in the Super Bowl this week at his own home stadium. The Chargers barely missed the playoffs in heartbreaking fashion against the Las Vegas Raiders. Raiders in, Chargers out. When you watch this game, um, is there fire in your belly? Is it anger? Is it disappointment? What, what, what goes through your mind? A lot of it's motivation, you know, you, to use that heading into next year. And, um, you know, it's unfortunate that we, we didn't make the playoffs and that we're not in this game. But I believe in our team. I believe in the coaching staff. And it's all about getting back there somehow. What does Super Bowl Sunday look like for you? Uh, what does that day look like? That's a good question. You know, I'm just re really looking forward to the game and uh, I'll, I'll turn the TV on, kind of watch the pregame show. Um, but at the same time, it's kind of analyzing the defenses because that's something that you really can't turn off. Last week, Herbert won co-MVP honors at the Pro Bowl. It's a great experience, but at the same time, it was a little slower than I'm used to. The game, um, not a whole lot of tackling. Herbert is already focused on next season and hoping to win over this crowded media market. I think the Chargers have done a great job of reaching out and, and, and making a presence in the community. And I, I think the most important thing is, is LA has seen their, their fair share of teams that win. You know, the Lakers, uh, the Clippers, the Dodgers, these are all teams that have had a lot of success. And so that's what it's going to take from us. Uh, we're going to have to keep winning. We're going to have to do our best to, to put up a good show on Sunday. And, you know, I think we're capable of that. Justin Herbert, well represented here at the Super Bowl experience, as is Joe Burrow. This is an exact replica of his actual a locker from Cincinnati. And speaking of Cincinnati, we've got the mayor of Cincinnati. Aftab Purval is here. Thank you so much uh, for being here. Congratulations <laughs> on being here. First off, it's got to feel pretty good to be in Los Angeles given our weather compared to Cincinnati. Yeah, there's no doubt that there are some positives being here in Los Angeles, but I'm here primarily to brag about how wonderful Cincinnati is. The Bengals are emblematic of our city. We are young. 
We are diverse. We are ambitious and confident. We've got that Cincinnati swagger, and I'm so glad the rest of the world and country is starting to recognize that. So here you are in this game. I mean, what an unlikely journey for the <laughs> Bengals to even be here. You have only been the mayor for four weeks, right? And That's they've right. won every game That's since right. you became the mayor. I think it's you, yeah. right? <laughs> uh, but talk about what this means to your city. They haven't even been in the playoffs in over 30 years. It means so much. Look, th there's no doubt that this team is ahead of schedule. The over-under on winning games before the season started for the Bengals was six games. We have proved the haters and the doubters wrong day after day, week after week, uh, uh, game after game in this season. And, and, and you're right. The last time the Bengals won a, uh, a playoff game was 31 years ago. The last time we were in the Super Bowl was 1988. I was literally six years old. Alex, this is no longer your grandfather's Bengals. This is no longer your grandfather's Cincinnati. We are the future of this country, and I'm so excited to be a, a small part of that. Well, and you are yourself are, are young and the first Asian American uh, mayor of Cincinnati as well. I know a lot of times we have bets between That's the right. mayors, the mayor of Los Angeles, of course, Eric Garcetti. Do you have a bet with him going? We, we do have a bet. Look, before we get to the bet, I want to talk about the cutting room floor. So I was brainstorming with some of my friends, and two ideas we had was to change Los Angeles' name to LOSS Angeles if the Bengals win. <laughs> mayor wasn't into that. And second was to get a Hollywood Walk of Fame star in the Bengals' honor with the score of the game. But, here, but in all seriousness, <laughs> we're, we're using this opportunity to lift up both of our children's hospitals. Uh, the Los Angeles uh, Children's Hospital is the best on the West Coast. The Cincinnati Children's Hospital is the best in the Midwest. After the last two years of this pandemic, this is a great opportunity to lift up our children's hospitals, but also our frontline healthcare workers. So the winner of the game actually raises money for the opposing team's children's hospital. We're so glad to be a part of that, and we think that's a special bet. That's very nice and very politically correct. Um, <laughs> uh, and so just lastly, when we look at that, that behind you, Joe Burrow, what does he mean to your city? My favorite Joe Burrow nickname is Joey Burr because the, the dude is ice cold. He means the future of our city, his swagger, his confidence. That's what we're all about. And, and again, I'm so glad that he's in our city. Well, Mr. Mayor, great to meet you and good luck on Sunday, but not too much luck. <laughs> nice meeting you, <laughs> Thank man. you very much. More of the issue is when we come back, we're gonna have some analysis from Michael Irvin, but we go to break with some of the fans here talking about what football means to them. What is it that you love so much about football? The environment, the people, you know, it's just the excitement. Just the camaraderie, the being, the, the being togetherness. What is it about football that you love so much? Um, I just love it. I just love the sport. Of course, the hot men help, right? <laughs> hot coaches, hot, hot quarterbacks. <laughs> this is a lifelong dream. Um, and you know, my dad's watching up above and he's thrilled. Yeah, one of the questions though, she didn't tell you when we were dating, she said it was going to be a deal breaker if I was a 49er fan. <laughs> so when I told her Ram, she almost fainted. Okay. Oh man, not even. Welcome back to The Issue is the Super Bowl. I'm Alex Michelson. We are now at what's called Radio Row in downtown Los Angeles. As you see here, broadcasters from around the world have lined up here to broadcast and talk all things football. And this place gives you an opportunity to talk with some incredible football talent. Michael Irvin, you are one of the great wide receivers in the history of football. Cooper Cup had one of the great seasons yes. in the history of football. What makes him so special as a wide out? It is not just knowing how to get open, but knowing when to be open. I'll tell you this, how much I admire what Cooper Cup does. I couldn't do it. I you, can't you, do it. You really, Cooper Cup, why oh. do you say that? What, what, what is he doing that you can't do? I, I, I don't have that sense of timing and understanding of defenses to that level. He plays the game. He plays a court. He plays the game like a quarterback from the wide receiver position. I just want to dominate your ass. For James Jones, Jones fought for it. Touchdown. With uh, James Jones, who uh, played wide receiver in the NFL. Uh, so let's talk about Cooper Cup yeah. and what makes him so special as a wide receiver. When you see him, what do you see? Um, number one, let's start off a guy that's extremely smart. Look at Cooper Cup, and you're never going to see him get tackled by the first guy, ever, unless it's a push out of bounds. You also got to guard Odell Beckham Jr. Mm -hmm. at the same time. Yep. For Beckham 
What makes him so special? Is it his hands? When you talk hands, he has the best hands in the National Football League. But when you talk pure athlete, he might be the best pure athlete in the National Football League as well. Good coverage that time by Hall. With D'Angelo Hall, who for 14 years was a defensive back in the NFL. When we look at the Rams' defense, what, what goes through your mind? Oh, man. I mean, so many playmakers, right? Um, I mean, not just playmakers, guys that are going to have gold jackets. You know, anytime you put anytime you put guys like that out there on the football field, I mean, you got a chance to wreck a game. If you are that guy that has the block, Aaron Dunn, I'm just saying Saturday night, man, just call home. Mom, yeah, how you doing, baby? Is everybody around? I just want you to tell everybody I love them. I got to block you, Aaron Donald, baby. I don't know what's going to happen out here tonight, but I wanted you guys to know that I love you. Pray for me, baby. And you hang up the phone. That's how hungry I believe he's going to be to eat. Okay, so who you got? Rams, Bengals, what's the uh, score? I mean, like I said, you don't play these games on paper, but if you look at it on paper, it's hard not to pick, uh, you know, the L.A. Rams in this one. On paper, this game shouldn't be close. It should be the Rams all the way. But something's just telling me JoJo Burrow, man. You say the Rams can't let somebody come into their house and take the Super Bowl. You can't do it. You just can't do it. It's like letting a man come in your house, sit at your table, eat your damn food <laughs> while he's holding your wife's hand and drinking your wine. What are you prepared to do about this? My pick, having played zero NFL football games, Rams 27, Bengals 20. We'll see. More of the issue is after this. Here at the NFL Experience, you get to test out your skills and play like a pro. Here you can test your skills against the best in the 40-yard dash. <laughs> Whew. All right, this is just for fun, but let's see how the actual pros train for something like this. Devin Lloyd is practicing his 40-yard dash. Former Utah College football star is now a top NFL prospect preparing for the NFL Combine. Ultimately, you know, there's a little uh, nervousness, obviously, because it's like the biggest, you know, interview in the world of interviews. The 40 is one of the most important parts of the Combine. The difference in milliseconds could be the difference in millions of dollars. Quick debt, like lost step. Coach Ryan Capretta is training Devin and more than 20 other NFL prospects. Gym that he found, Proactive Sports in Westlake Village. Here, Devin's movements and even his brain activity is measured to improve his on-field performance. It's really just exciting to be around all this new technology and see what it can do to benefit all of us. Every athlete on the wall here has trained here. We got some planning to do, I'm excited. Including NFL MVP Aaron Rodgers and past Super Bowl MVP Von Miller of the LA Rams, shown here on his YouTube page. I'm starting to hop in coach up every day. NBA All-Stars train here, including John Morant, Carl Anthony Towns, and Paul George of the LA Clippers, who enjoys a dunk on the court and in the ice bath. You could train anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. Why here? This is family. George especially appreciates the chance to work out with and learn from athletes from other sports. It's cool to come in here and be able to pick a brain of a football player. PG-13 has trained with Capretta for years. He says Ryan's experience is invaluable. It's the reason why, you know, a lot of the guys have huge success. Um, it's because they learn how to become a pro. In 2000, Ryan won a Super Bowl with the Baltimore Ravens as a strength coach. He then started out on his own in a small space, then moving to a slightly larger space. But just last year, he teamed with Herbalife to open this world-class facility. It expanded our product in terms of recovery on the nutrition space, which is what Herbalife 24 line brings to us. Everyone here is given custom meals for their dietary needs. They've invested in more than $1 million in physical therapy equipment, including technology that literally recharges your muscles. There's red light therapy, TheraBody leg therapy, and a hot sauna. Plus, there's hot yoga classes. And a very cool treadmill with water. We use this to get what I call the mush. They have brain monitors, 
series of cameras and sensors in the ground to monitor how good, or in my case, how bad, your run looks. It's this line here is giving us the angle it should be and the angle it's not. <laughs> Josh Beaumont is the manager of sports science. We use the science to get those small gains that have a really big effect on a player's uh, performance. This $400,000 treadmill analyzes your run from every angle and shows how to make it better. And you see the athletes Man, I've never felt like this. Devin says after all this training, he's feeling ready for that big interview. As of this moment, you know, I feel like I've done everything up to this point to get me to where I want to be. Best of luck to Devin at the Combine in March, at the draft in April, and maybe, just maybe, he'll one day be holding that. That is the actual Vince Lombardi trophy that hopefully the Rams will soon be hoisting. I'm Alex Michelson. Thank you for watching The Issue Is. A big thanks to our excellent team for making all this possible. And as we say goodbye, go Rams. Whose house? Rams house! Rams house!